Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn how to do a password recovery from watching a lab demo. When we talk about password recovery, we're talking about recovering from a lost enable password or secret. Now, I know we haven't really spoken about those yet. We're going to cover them in a later section when we get to securing your Cisco router or switch. For now, all you need to know is that you can set a password that is required to get to the enable prompt. So let's actually do that on a router. So I'll go to global configuration mode and I'll say enable password flat box one and enable secret flat box two. The difference between these is enable password is really a legacy command. Enable secret is the new form of doing it. So if I go end here and do a show run, you'll see the difference is that the enable secret is always in an encrypted form. When you look at the running config, enable password is unencrypted by default. So that could be a security concern. If you've enabled both the enable secret and the enable password, then the enable secret overrides the enable password. So the enable password isn't used, we're always gonna use the enable secret. Okay, so our scenario is that an enable secret has been set on this router and we come to work on the router, so we need to get to the enable prompt. So we type in enable, it asks us for a password and the problem is that we do not know the password and nobody else in the company does either, so we need to recover the password. The way to do it is, to boot up the router first into ROM on mode. Now, the way you normally do that is you power it on and within the first minute, you hit control break, the break sequence, and that will break into the ROM on prompt. Because I'm on packet tracer here, it doesn't really give me much time to do that. So I'm going to do it from the normal config instead. So I'm gonna log in here if I can remember what the password was. Okay, got it. And I'll go to config T and I'm gonna set the config register here. So I'll set it to config register 0x2120 and that's gonna boot it up into the ROM one prompt. Okay, but obviously normally if you're doing a password recovery, you're not gonna be able to get to config mode to do it here. So you would be breaking in when the router first boots up or switch. Okay, so I've done that, I'll end and do a copy run start and then reload and this is going to boot up into the rom on prompt okay so this is how i would do my password recovery and what i need to do here is tell the router to bypass the startup config when it's booting up the command for that is confreg so it's a little bit different than it is at the normal command prompt and to bypass NVRAM, which is where the startup config is, it's 0x2142. Hit enter and then reset to boot the router. And you'll see that when it finishes booting up, it's not gonna ask me for an enable password to get into the enable prompt because it's booted up with a blank config. You can see that's happened because it's booted up into the setup wizard. So I will say no here to bypass the setup wizard and now I can hit enable and because it's not using the enable secret from the startup config, it's not gonna ask me for a password. Okay, next thing that I need to do is to copy the startup config into the running config. I do that and it's gonna copy the startup config in that was already there with all of the commands that were already there, including that enable secret. But I don't need to know it because I'm already at the enable prompt. Okay, next thing I need to do is config T 
and I'm going to set a new enable secret. Or for this lab exercise, what I'll actually do is I'll just go no enable secret to remove it. Real world, you would always want to have a secret for the enable prompt on the router, so you wouldn't actually do that. You would actually just set a different secret that you know now so you can get in next time it reboots. Okay, last thing I need to do is a copy run start. And now I'm all good. I've got my existing config on there that was there before. I've reset the password and I'm into the router. And next time that I reload, actually, did I reset the config register? No, okay. I forgot that. This is super important too. Okay, so also at global configuration, do a config dash register 0x2102 is for the default boot. Okay, not so deliberate mistake there. If I'd done that in the real world, then what would happen would be next time that I rebooted, it would go back into, I think it was the ROM on prompt again, which obviously would not be good. So don't forget to reset the config register as well end and copy run start actually what you would do in the real world at this point just to make sure that it will be good when it boots up again is actually to do a reload you're not causing an outage because you already had an outage right now anyway so once you've finished just reboot it again take a couple of minutes wait for it to boot up and then check that it loads correctly and that you can log in so go to enable Okay, and it's asking me for a password. I'll let you in on a secret. I actually paused the video when this first happened because I was like, why did that happen? And then I thought, oh, okay, and I realized. So what I want you to do now is pause the video and have a think about it because I did the no enable secret command and I've rebooted. I didn't forget to do the copy run start. I rebooted and it's still asking me for a password to get into the enable prompt. So have a think about why that is the case. Stop the video for a minute if you have to. When you start the video again, I'll tell you the reason why. Okay, the reason why is that when we did the initial part of the lab, I set an enable password and an enable secret. When I did the password recovery, I just did the no enable secret. I didn't do the no enable password, so there's still an enable password there, and that's what it's asking me for now. Now, in the real world, it's highly unlikely you would run into this problem because you wouldn't do a no a no enable secret, what you would do is you would set a new enable secret, which would override the enable password. And when you rebooted, it would be asking you for the secret that you just set here. If you remember what we said, it was flak box one for the enable password. So I'm actually able to log in here. If I did a config T now and set enable secret is the new secret of flak box two, and hit enter, copy, run, start. Uh, at the uh, enable prompt, a copy, run, start. So this is what I should have done earlier in the lab, set a different enable secret. Then when I rebooted, it would have asked me for that new enable secret, which I do know. Okay, hopefully that entertained you watching me make a couple of mistakes there. Uh, I'll try not to do it in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.